watched an old man die in this room. Who? Irrelevant. As he died, he bit the hand of the woman who'd sacrificed her life to his. Then she deserved it. Have a cigarette. Afterwards. Often Eustasia would speak to me about love, and I would listen with interest and perplexity and sometimes with amusement. She had never been faithful for long to any one person, and yet her love affairs filled by far the most important place in her life. She would speak about her former lovers with affection, with amusement, and with a kind of gratitude. It did not seem strange to her, far less disgraceful, that she should have deserted them all. Indeed, she wouldn't have admitted that this was the case. For long after any one of them had parted company with her, she took a keen interest in his doings and on the whole retained his friendship. I would often find myself smiling when she made it clear in our conversations that in comparison with her own sexual life, she regarded even the aerodrome and its organization as a thing of quite secondary importance. Presenting us at the area finals. Pity we can't enter your husband's latest efforts, hmm? That would hardly be fair, would it? Without RW's continual research, we'd still be in the prop driven past. Hmm. These new variants aren't form anybody, wouldn't you say, RW? No, oh, they know a trick or two. I should say they do.
true. We've got 2,000 in production. You hesitate. No, sir. Honoured, sir. This is a unique appointment. As my ADC, you will have access to the highest, most sensitive information. Yes, sir. Trust must be absolute. Follow me. You must remember at all times what your duty is. And what is more than your duty, what is the whole purpose of our life? Which is, sir? To exercise control. Be freed from time, Roy, and the past and the future, from shapelessness. <laughs> Sit yourself down. Now, I want you, I want you to study this. Stay here until I return. Understood? As I began to understand the elaboration and grandeur of the Air Commander's plans, I realized that we were already equipped to take over the direction of the country whose servants nominally we were. The Air Commander was at the center of a vast organization and only he could exercise complete and unquestioned control over others who without him would have disputed among themselves for preeminence. It was not long before I became aware that I was being entrusted with secrets that were not shared even with the highest of officials. And my surprise at being selected for such a post was equaled by my determination to show myself worthy. I worked day after day and late into the night, keeping always at the forefront of my mind the aim and certainty of our conspiracy. We seem to be an organization manifestly entitled by its own discipline, efficiency, and will to assume supreme power. Outside of the Air Force, I could see nothing that was not incompetent or corrupt. Just refresh the inner man, Roy. Did I? Well, I didn't. <laughs> I think you're a new 
job. It's made you to a sphinx, my darling. Mm. <laughs> well, virtually everything I do is classified. Mm. <laughs> you certainly look very classy. <laughs> One day I'm going to tell you a secret. What? No, 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 no. I can be discreet too. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say you could take a breather? Well, did I? <laughs> no, Roy. The, the very fact that the murderers of Provo Sergeant Peters are still at large must in itself be an encouragement to disaffection. And the curfew continues, sir. Oh, absolutely. And these secret meetings, anything further to report there? Well, they definitely centre on the squire's sister and the late rector's wife. And our padre continues to attend? Invariably. They either meet at their cottage under the guise of a sewing circle or fruit bottling, or in the vestry for so-called Bible commentary. Unhealthy. Yes, sir, but a few old women gossiping. Dissident discussion can never be dismissed. No, sir. Quite so. It's our sky pilot. Oh, he must be reminded what his duty is. I can't think what's come over him. Oh, he, he was never brilliant, but his loyalty has never been in question. 11.21. Mm. Morning service should be in progress. See you. 